Welcome to the WV Mason Coaches Report. I'm joined today by Hofstra Women's Basketball Head Coach Krista Kilburn Stavesky. Thanks for joining me mm -hmm. today, Coach. Thanks, Amanda. Since we last chatted, the Pride is 1-1 one one with a double overtime 86-81 win over Sacred Heart on Thursday before falling to Siena 70-60 Tuesday night here at home. Uh, let's start with that Sacred Heart game. Quite a battle right, right. from the beginning. You said pregame that you knew it was going to be a battle. Did you right. think it would be as much of a battle as it turned out to be? Absolutely. No, not a double overtime. Uh, I, you know, I felt it was a, a tough game coming back after our Vegas trip, and uh, I'll hold firm to that, but certainly didn't know it was going to be double overtime, and uh, I, I thought we fought hard and showed good character in that game. What do you think was the difference maker that eventually got the pride out of that? It's amazing their, their mindset because um, – just to refuse to lose. I think everybody was on that same, you know, platform with each other. And there were, you know, Olivia Askin hits a crazy turnaround bank shot with four seconds left to go on the shot clock. That puts us ahead. But but the but the the thing that I was most proud of, obviously that shot. I mean, all, all these things that kept us alive. And then we made a, a bad defensive assignment, but it didn't affect us. You know, it, we were up by uh, one, and we ended up being down two in like two seconds. You know, the highs and lows of sport. And then, uh, obviously, Alexis Davis just had a, a great, you know, offensive showing when we needed it. Um, Nay made a big bucket in the end one when we needed it. So everybody was contributing, you know, at certain times when we needed it. It was a total team effort. But just that, you know, learning from that, you know, you're that close of excitement to win the game, and all of a sudden you go, and then being behind, and then how we how it affected us, um, and and how we just rose above that. I mean, to me that. That is building who you are, but then to have some setbacks, you know, uh, on that, it's just hard to understand that in this game. I mean, again, we're constantly pushing toward consistency. So, but just great, you know, great team effort out of everybody in that game. Uh, coach of Sacred Heart is Jess Cominetti, one of yeah. your former assistant coaches. It's the first time your teams have actually played <laughs> each other since she's been the head coach right. over there. What was it like uh, playing against her? I mean, it's fun. You know, I, I like the fact that she, um, you know, doesn't back down on any kind of challenge either. I think I said that in the post game too. You know, sometimes people are you know, waiting for their team to get this and get that or, or whatever. And, I mean, Justice wants to play, and she wants to play great competition. And she had a tough stretch, you know, starting with us. And then, like, I think she has, like, every two games, she has a game in the stretch right now trying to get her young team ready, you know, for their conference. But, um, you know, does a great job with Sacred Heart uh, – and I uh, wouldn't expect anything less. You know, she's, uh, she's efficient, she's diligent, she does a great job in her coaching strategy, and she's going to have those kids ready for their, uh, for their conference. So, uh, but it was fun. You know, it was fun that she doesn't back down from her challenge, and, and neither do we. So. Moving on to the Siena game, a bit of a tough loss for you guys. Um, Aliana Leon finished in double figures for fifth consecutive game. Right. She had a little spurt in the fourth quarter where she kind of took things into her own hands and and actually gave yeah. Hofstra the lead for a minute. Uh, what have you seen from her lately, and especially in that, that yeah. little stretch last Well, that's it. I've, I've been really proud. You know, she had a couple of really good looks early in the game. You know, her three just wasn't falling on just some wide-open looks the first and second quarter, and then started taking it to the cup a little bit better. And, you know, we didn't – I think we were 9 for 27 at the half. We did not shoot very well in the, in the first half. Didn't shoot very well until the game. But, um, you know, but she was just trying to go through her actions to – you know, to try to, you know, will us, you know, back uh, toward that win, you know, and then that's, you know, we can't hide, you know, those seniors can't just not take those shots, you know, you got to keep shooting, you know, you might have to vary it up and you got to, you know, like I said, get to the basket and things like that, but she, um, you know, she just kept pushing and definitely had a good, you know, still in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, in the press and, and just put us up and really thought that was going to be a good little turning point and then they called a timeout I think they went on a 14 of war run after that. They went on a timeout. They got hit by uh, we got hit by a flare screen, and they buck hit a three. And it is it's just interesting. Like I said, from one few days ago, okay, somebody answers, and then how we respond, and then boom, somebody answers, and then we didn't respond to the well that we that we did. So it's just that's just the highs and lows sometimes. But just really proud of her effort to you know try to will us in there and uh, you know get us that W couple road games coming up before the break for finals, but both close games. Uh, yeah. Headed to Iona on Thursday and Columbia mm -hmm. on Monday. What do you see from those two teams? Uh, you know, very similar to what we saw from Siena and Sacred Heart as we go on the road. Um, Iona, still a young team. They've had a rough start, but they've played Arizona State. Um, I think they played Temple and lost by five. Had a tough one in Toledo, I think, in their last game. 
um, was down in Jacksonville and, and played. So they've had, you know, kind of a, 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 a rough, you know, non-conference slate because she knows her kids are very young. So they fight. They're in the passing lanes. They do the same thing, like I said, a mixture of Sienna and Sacred Heart when it comes to their intensity. Um, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a battle. Playing in that gym's always been tough. We've scrimmaged them. We've played them. Um, not necessarily when Billy – we played when Billy was there, but we played um, – you know when Tony was the head coach at, at uh, Iona a lot, and then we backed off and been scrimmaging them a good bit. So now we're back playing them again. So it's going to be tough. I mean, it's uh, you know much of the same of what we've been experiencing. So just our mindset needs to be right. We don't have time to cry over this last game, and you know we again we need that leadership on the floor. You know, Aliana was trying to show that leadership with her hustle and 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 going, and then I think Liv is one that's been really trying to talk constantly to the team. We need all three of them to build. You know, Nay needs to step up. And, and provide that leadership when we're frustrated. If something's not working out, we need to talk to, to the team, huddle them up, go. They need to do stuff like this on the floor. So we're going to really need that leadership come Thursday and then the following Monday against Columbia, who beat BC. Um, they got a couple – they played Buffalo, I think, before they play us here again. Uh, they're doing a great job over there. Uh, she was uh, assistant coach at Princeton with Courtney. And, uh, you know, so they're, they're going to be obviously ready by the time we get, you know, ready to face them. But we got to take care of ourselves and be, uh, be down on them Thursday. It's our first first uh, first focus here. Pride heads to Iona on Thursday and Columbia on Monday, both 7 p.m. games. This has been the WB Mason Coaches Report with Hofstra Women's Basketball Head Coach Christy Kilburn-Stavesky. Thanks again for joining us. Coach. Thanks, Amanda.